Hi, I'm Sasha from Nude Espresso. We have two stores, one on Brick Lane and one in Soho Square. First of all, it's important to preheat your cups. Hot cups, about 20, 25 mils of hot water into the cups. So whilst you're busy dosing and grinding away here, these cups are busy preheating. So the purpose of um, preheating your cups is obviously to keep the temperature in the cup, which allows the sweetness and the flavor to stay in the cup for a long period of time. Um, next, I'm gonna grab my handler and just purge a little bit of water. The first purge is basically just for cleaning purposes, to remove any old coffee grinds or oils that may still be up around the head. Next, I'm just gonna wipe out my basket, making sure I'm removing any oils or coffee grinds from the basket, and also drying it so there's no moisture or water left in the handle. Next, grinding on demand. Whether you're free dosing or using a manual grinder, but ensuring that you've got the correct dose. Collapsing. Leveling. Tamping with the correct pressure and ensuring that your level is level is even in the basket. Purging again a second time for boiler temperature stability. Completely inserting the handle and then ensuring that you're hitting that button straight away. So this one, the first shot I'm doing here is the preset profile. Keep the same thing with the second one. And this one's going to be with the flat nine bars of pressure. So while the second shot's busy extracting, we're going to start on the milk. So I've got two jugs here. This one I'm going to see in the milk in, um, just got fresh cold milk filled to just the bottom of the tip there. Um, for milk grease, um, for purposes of the machine, you must purge before you start steaming your milk, and then again after, and then always wiping away. The reason you purge beforehand is basically just to release a, a build up of pressure. If not, the steam one sometimes can act as a bit of a vacuum cleaner and you can end up sort of sucking milk back through the pipes and slowly down the track how to take the difficulties. And the reason you purge afterwards once you finish is just to release any build up um, sort of milk before it has a chance to start drying and blocking the steam tip. I've actually found with the Kimberly um, that the steam on itself is quite simple to simple to use. It's actually um, just sort of distributes the, um, the steam in a direction which kind of creates the whirlpool which you need to texture your milk properly. I was actually doing a training session earlier this, um, earlier this morning on um, the machine and these girls couldn't texture milk at all and by their second jug of milk on the machine they'd actually steam perfect milk and were surprised at how simple it was to use. Now, it's been scientifically proven that Milk over 70 degrees actually burns all the natural sugars. So you've got sugars like sucrose, glucose, lactose, and once they're heated to over 70 degrees, the sugars in the milk actually burn. So there's no rule, but a standard optimum temperature is around 60 to 65 degrees, which is what I've done this milk at now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna split half the milk into the second jug here. Now the reason I'm doing this is trying to get consistencies in froth depth with the coffees. So by splitting between the two jugs, it's going to allow the, the froth in the two flat whites to be equal. It's going to keep that milk a little swell just to keep it burned together.
two flat whites. 